There's still a lot of strawberries in the fridge, so we're gonna bake again. And we have the same amount, four eggs. This vlog is actually a sequel of my previous vlog. I had a lot of ingredients left, so I decided that I would make a shortcake out of them. And it's also my first ever shortcake. I'm gonna do that twice. Usually, shortcakes are baked with a chiffon cake base, but I tried to make a chiffon cake once and it didn't end well, so I decided to stick with my usual recipe. For this step, I already spread butter on my pan. It will help the parchment paper to stick. I'm gonna get my strawberries ready. We have six strawberries here for decoration. I think I'm gonna put like six of them and then like cream here on the side. Um, so yeah. So these, these are the big ones, and I'm gonna use this for the inside. So. <laughs> I'm also going to use the strawberry jar that I made yesterday because I still have a lot left. This chinoise base cake is literally so easy to make and foolproof and look at how soft it is. Please use a cake level off at this step because look at how ugly mine was cut, it wasn't even. You could also use lined up toothpicks as a guide, but yeah, I was too lazy. Look at how moist it is. Oh my gosh, okay, perfect. I'm gonna start putting it on the, on the welcome plate. Okay, so I have the remaining trim right here and some whipping cream this is already sweetened and i don't think i'm going to sweeten it i mean i don't know we'll see okay i'm going to pour everything in what i did here is in case the cream is over whipped i can still add liquid cream and whip it again and it will fix it This is very important to do, especially because it's whipped cream and whipped cream is so soft. You need to crumb coat your cake. Basically, just a very thin layer of cream to smooth out all the crumbs. Oh, 
grooming cream I have so these two this is supposed to be for decoration didn't have enough so I'm gonna use it for my cake covering I think this is the hardest part of making this cake. Whipped cream is so hard to smooth out compared to buttercream. I put a little bit of sugar in there. Well, that was a mistake. I put too little sugar in my whipped cream, so it wasn't stable enough. It was so smooth though, and it was so pretty, almost like a moisturizer. Okay, I was trying to choose which pattern was the best because these are like new patterns I've never tried before, so yeah. As you can see, it still got the perfect piping marks, but it's a little harder to control the cream and the next day it melted in the fridge and it looked like a 3D cake. Also, you can see a difference in the color that's because I used the remaining white chocolate based whipped cream for the frosting. And here it is, I think it looked pretty cute. it's time to see how it looks inside and how it tastes like. Um, you can clearly see that it's not equal between the two layers, but it's okay, let's just hope that it tastes good. <laughs> really soft and not too sweet, exactly what I look for in this type of cake. 9 out of 10. And this is the end of this vlog, I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time!